So Kristen's gonna take a look at my nose and then she's gonna go ahead and spray a numbing medicine in my nose that helps to kind of open things up and uh, actually numb up the surfaces. And we're just gonna make sure that we start the process like we want to and help to get things going. So now we're gonna go ahead and sneak the cotton balls in. These have a numbing medication on it and also a little bit of that decongestant medication. So that's gonna to help to get the surfaces further prepared um, on the inside of the nose. And it's a little, you know, there's a weirdness factor with something going in your nose, but it's actually not a big deal at all. And so now we're gonna wait and let these guys kick in. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes and I've just had these guys sit in my nose and now we're gonna go ahead and get started. So Dr. Roster is gonna man the ship here. Sensation-wise, not a whole lot much of anything going on which is good so a little clickiness with uh, either the camera or the numbing injection but pretty low-key generally speaking so now we're going towards the cheek sinus on my left hand side um, so we're just trying to get this natural sinus opening expanded Okay. So I Let's feel do about 16. A little bit of pressure here, not bad. And a little bit more. I can feel it kind of in my upper teeth a little bit. We're going to switch gears over toward the, towards more in the breathing passageways. So trying to reduce the turbinates. So in order to do that, first thing we need to do is make sure things are nicely numb still. And I'm not feeling any of that which is a good sign. Little smoke, little pressure. So I can smell smoke, which is not really smoke, but it smells smoky. Otherwise, not a whole lot of action going on there. So now, all done on that side, so sneak the cop balls back in, making sure we're getting that numbing medicine back on the surfaces. We are all done. It's actually been done for about five minutes or so. So now sitting up, I'm going to just sit around here. These cotton balls are sitting in my nose, just kind of hold a little bit of pressure. And they've got a little bit of numbing medicine and a little bit of that decongestive medicine to kind of uh, help the surfaces um, settle down from procedure. Uh, honestly, right now, I feel, other than my no having something in my nose, I feel absolutely fine. Like nothing was, like nothing just happened, um, which is a good thing. The actual doing it wasn't. Honestly, it wasn't a big deal at all. Um, so it's actually, and I've done plenty of these, uh, I've performed plenty of these, but it actually was less intense than, you know, even what I figured it was going to be. So really, even from a pressure standpoint, not bad. The little pins and needles up in the sinus areas, the you know, work in the inside of the nose, I didn't feel any of that. Numbing injections, I didn't really feel any of that either. So um, yeah, pretty darn good. So what will happen from here is we'll have these guys sit in my nose for another 10, 15 minutes sneak them out, take a look, and then um, just make sure everything's behaving itself. Um, and then beyond that, what I'll do on the back end is really just keep my nose moist. So a lot of saline spray, saline gel, I'll be rinsing as much as I can, just trying to keep things moving along. And, um, and really the, the other thing I'll do is just um, use the antibiotic ointment on the inside of the nose, same thing. All that stuff is just trying to keep the lining moist and keep things moving out of there. Um, I'll see uh, somebody here in the office in about a week or so just suction out any buildup that might collect so when the nose gets uh, swollen or stuffy i guess i should say in the back end of procedure the mucus doesn't move along like it's supposed to so sometimes we just need to suction out any mucus that's wanting to kind of hang out in the nose and then typically after about a week is when things start moving forward and so first week's the stuffy phase once i get through that then we should start gradually moving forward and so what i'd expect to see is over the next month or so um, most of the change is happening from a breathing standpoint um, the sinus areas, um, you know, we'll see how that plays. That usually kind of trails that a little bit. So over the next maybe month or two after the first month, we'll see what I notice up there. And again, I mean, just to kind of recap what I was feeling like coming into all this, I, wasn't, I had undergone previous sinus surgery about five years ago. Last year or two, just a little stuffy, more on the left side than the right, more at night than during the day. So more just kind of laying down um, sort of situation. And so I wasn't having a dramatic 
negative impact, but I could tell it was a deterioration from where I had been a few years after my uh, original surgery. So the goal today is just sort of try to keep me up and running and, and try to optimize the situation. Um, so we'll see, we'll see what that looks like. So I'm expecting sort of more subtle changes moving forward. And um, otherwise I'm planning on, I'm back to work tomorrow and doing my normal thing and um, plan on working out tomorrow morning and uh, not gonna hopefully miss a beat.